Hello, I'm Rob Lorger with Embarcadero Technologies. In this video, I'll show you how DB Optimizer can help you identify performance bottlenecks within large SQL Server stored procedures. DB Optimizer's database load profiling functionality can help you determine bottlenecks within your stored procedures. In front of us, we have a load profile that was executed against a SQL Server database. To get a quick overview of what we're looking at, you can determine the type of load by looking at the spikes, the color of the spikes, and the legend at the top. For instance, CPU is a green color. The vertical axis of a load profile are, are average active sessions. And the horizontal red bar across the profile are max engines which act as a yardstick to determine bottlenecks within the database. Being collected during a load profile are the SQL statements that cause load, the events that occurred, and the connected sessions. To start a profile, one way would be to right click on the data source you want to profile and choose profile as. In this case, we want to determine the bottlenecks in the stored procedures that executed during this load profile. So I'll select the Procedure tab, which I can quickly see all the stored procedures that were causing load and determine which caused the most load. So this update client transaction stored procedure is the one that I want to focus in on first because it's responsible for 46.05% of the overall load. The second most the second most load is 17.42%. So I think if I focus in on my update client transaction store procedure, I'll begin to re significantly reduce the load caused by store procedures during the within this database. Next, now that I've highlighted this store procedure, my profiling details view below has been populated with the store procedure SQL text, and I can also choose the SQL tab, which shows me all of the sub-SQL statements within the store procedure and shows which were responsible for the most load. In this case, I clearly want to focus in on the update, this sub-update SQL statement, which is responsible for 71.63% of the overall load. Within DB Optimizer, if I wanted to begin to improve the load caused by this store procedure, I could go ahead and tune this statement. And that's how DB Optimizer can help you identify bottlenecks within your store procedures.